Phone calls? No one is available to take your call. Didn't quite get us to who we were looking for. We left messages for companies billing Medicare on behalf of Wisconsinites for COVID tests they never wanted and never received. Just a user busy. None of those COVID testing companies decided to call us back, so we found their addresses and came here to Chicago to see if they were actually operating. Locked. Just like the phone calls, we found no one home. In one case, another tenant already moved in. They're still addressed to this spot. Great. Yeah, I know. I'll be just, you call the FBI and talk to James O'Leary if you want. Did you have any sort of connection to them? No. The FBI told 12 News it doesn't comment on any open investigation if there was one. Here's the scheme. Using numbers from people on Medicare, these companies bill Medicare saying they're ordering and receiving COVID tests when people are not requesting them or even receiving them, costing taxpayers. I believe some of these companies are fraudulent. All of them? I can't say all of them. We took our findings and our list of companies to Ingrid Cuttinger, the program director of the Senior Medicare Patrol in Wisconsin. There are definitely some here that we have heard from. Cuttinger and a group of 20 staff are the only ones on the ground collecting info on this and the other Medicare fraud in our state. Federally funded, each state has a program like hers. I'm saddened that your list is this thick, but it seems about right. Cuttinger's group has found 125 Wisconsinites caught in the middle of the COVID-19 billing scheme. Add that to the two dozen 12 News Investigates has heard from. I mean, this is totally outrageous. I've never, ever met anyone from these labs. I've never requested anything from these labs. I've never used the labs. While the tally of how much taxpayers are on the hook for is hard to gather, it's at least in the tens of thousands of dollars but likely much higher. We need to get to the bottom of that and make a very clear statement that um, fraud is not acceptable. Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin penned a letter to the Centers of Medicare and Medicaid Services, the federal agency that oversees Medicare and who's footing that taxpayer-funded bill. The letter pushes for CMS to communicate with those caught in the middle. Should Congress investigate the scheme? I think we need to be very knowledgeable about it. Let's see if uh, CMS, um, through its uh, uh, authorities, can get to the bottom of it. Her colleague, Republican Senator Ron Johnson, the ranking member on the Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations, says Congress should, but federal agencies also need to investigate. I have five staff members. Uh, the federal government employs millions of people. Uh, we, we are outmanned when it comes to uh, the federal uh, bureaucracy. And so we, we really, you really do rely on the agencies, uh, their inspector generals. Cuttinger's office gathers the information from people caught in the scheme and sends it to the Federal Office of Inspector General, the office that does investigate. She says the OIG is investigating cases in Wisconsin. I can say that quite certainly because we've received communication back from several of the cases that we've submitted for investigation. You believe this is widespread enough that people potentially could go to jail? I would think so. I mean, I can't believe that it wouldn't. I mean, they're going to they're going to catch up with people one way or the other. Wisconsinites receiving COVID-19 test kits they never wanted, never used. Have you seen anyone in here at all? And now from companies who've since cleaned up shop and left town. Oh, James, the companies that you visited, they were all closed? Yeah, we hit our nose on the door on all of them, locked doors, some not even there anymore, along with emails and phone numbers that just simply didn't work. This story started with one tip from one person? And it's now grown to 150 people that we know of, likely much higher, as you heard in the piece. Just today, we heard from two more people that are caught in the middle. If you'd like to report fraud, you can call this number on your screen, 888-818. 2611. That is the number to the state senior Medicare patrol. Leave a message there if you believe that you are part of fraud. Now, if you've received a COVID-19 test that you didn't want and Medicare paid the bill, we, of course, want to know about it. Have a running tally right now. Email us, investigate at WISN.com. There's a lot of interest in the story. We know you'll stay on top of it.